Hi Aries, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Donnies. This is your WTF reading for the end of June. Um, I've taken a bit of my own advice and I've gone back to basics. So I've taken away some of the decks. Um, we're still going to do the energy card, obviously the WTF. We've got the um, Angels and Ancestors deck there and we've got the Whispering, um, the Whispers of Healing over there. So... I've taken the other decks away because I just I just felt like everything was closing in on me and I just wanted to go back to basics so that's what I've done. Um, not to say that I won't use other decks in the future but I just felt that I needed to be clear and free with this. So we're going to get on with your reading. Um, please like, share and subscribe for me if you like what I do. It really helps the analytics and keeps the... Um, channel growing uh, the other thing is i've put a poll up in the community page so pop over and have a look for me and if you want to take part it's just to kind of like get an essence of what people like what people don't like if they'd like me to do something different um uh if you want me to do something different please put a comment down below it don't just go oh, yeah just scrub everything and start again um but put a comment down of your ideas because it would be very welcome. So, your energy card, my darlings. Straddling worlds, wandering or wandering between the realms. The seven is from the five and the two. Um, do you know something? I'm kind of getting that maybe... You're trying something different spiritually. And surprisingly to you, you have been able to shift either through somebody's dreams and it's been successful or you have shifted between the different realms that there are. So that's this world, the other world, um, the quantum field, the universe even going and sitting in the source for some of you who may have tried that kind of meditation. Now, when we go into a meditative state or a dream state, like going to sleep, we do shift into other realms, even if we don't remember it. But I'm kind of getting for you that you've made a concerted, concerted effort to do this, and now you've got some tangible evidence that human beings can actually do this that meditation is worth doing, that spirituality is nothing to do with organised faith, but everything to do with you within. And that's how you're beginning to straddle the world because you're suddenly just really in tune with yourself and understanding that spirituality is something within us. If we follow an organized faith we are having the spiritual experience of another person or a collective experience if we are following our own spiritual experience that comes deeply within from your heart from your soul um, from all the chakras from loads of different places but the spirit world that they are so i'm sorry to say this but they're a bit gobsmacked you even tried this but now you've got the tangible evidence that it actually works. I'm getting that you're quite excited about this. That you're like, wow, it works. I can do this. Yes, you can. Aries, come on. You're not usually like that. You're not usually like the wallflower, are you? You're, you're usually like, I can do this. It's a breeze. But there's been some doubt about whether or not you could do this. And it has opened up your choices, your options and your blessings, 100%. It really has. Well done, is what I'm going to say. Well done. That is a massive shift for you. And I am getting that for a lot of you that have done this, there is a huge shift spiritually, which means that there's a huge shift in your life on this planet. Wow. That's really great. So, my lovelies... What started your what the fuck for this week? Lovelies, I'm just going to be good for 60 seconds. That's why I'm using the term WTF 
in the first um, 60 seconds of the video um, because we're trying to make YouTube happy and their advertisers happy by me not cussing in the first 60 seconds. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's where it's all come from. So we've got what started your what the fuck and then we've got facey fears and taking your power back. And then my darlings... We have got for your manifestation, your wish fulfillment on why it may be fucked for Aries. Thank you. Not that many. Movement and journey. Where the fuck you need to be, Aries? Where does Aries need to be? Okay. And what can you do about this situation? Jesus, Aries, what's going on with you? Loves. Honestly, I'm only going to take the ones... That have flipped over. I put those ones back. And there's a bit of a story with what you can do about this situation. So, what is out of Aries' hands for this couple of weeks, the last couple of weeks of June? Okay. Another bit of a story. Reconnecting to their true selves. How is Aries going to reconnect to their true selves? They're flipping out all over the place. Oh, that's a nice card, Aries. So, my darlings, your outcome. Okay, so what started your what the fuck? For this week, Aries, you have got the green man. In other decks, he's known as the fool. But the green man is this creature who goes through life and he really does not know that there are consequences to actions. And that's why he's able to make so many leaps of faith. That's why he he's almost like a baby. You know, when a baby starts to toddle, they don't know if they fall down, they'll hurt their knees. That's why they cry so much, because it's a bit of a shock to them. Um, he doesn't know that there's pitfalls as well as highs. And he's when he comes into the reading, he's kind of indicating that a, a leap of faith is, is required. Um, there is no no way that you are going to experience new things if you don't if you don't try something even if it means getting your fingers burnt is what i'm getting um so there is something around you that something woke you up to make you do this struggling the world to do this experimentation this wandering between the realms and maybe it it started off with walking through somebody's dreams or maybe somebody said I'll walk through your dreams um, and they did and it's kind of like got you kind of, what on earth is that all about um, and it made you take this leap of faith but there's another leap of faith that I feel that is coming through um, and this leap of faith is to do with your personal life because right in behind this now this could be a marriage, an anniversary, an engagement, a party. But it can also be a business venture. There's a leap of faith required here with the four of wands. Projects, plans and people. That's how it's described. If it's a business venture, you have bought in a harvest. And you are creating something new from that harvest. Now a harvest for me is an idea. It's a thought. It's a process of getting a project or a plan underway. But you've had your harvest and now you're thinking, okay, where are we going to take this? 
So if it's a business venture, you need to take that leap of faith that it's going to be okay and there's going to be a celebration around it. But this card is also a celebration of the coming together of a couple, male or female, doesn't matter what kind of couple you're in, but it's the coming together of a couple and the celebration that ensues after the coming together of this loving, caring couple. And it's all down to you taking a leap of faith. Um, and I'm getting that for you this, this end of June, this leap of faith is going to be presented to you. Um, yeah. It's going to be presented. If it hasn't already, it may have happened already. But definitely by the end of June, there is going to be the presentation of an opportunity to take a leap of faith over. Like I say, for some of you, it's going to be a business venture. Some of you, it's going to be a loving, caring relationship. And it is going to be around a party, an engagement, a wedding or an anniversary. So just be aware of that. Um, facing your fears and taking your power back. Um, darlings, the page of Athamis brings in this message that you need to draw energy down from the universe. You have the need of that. You're going to need this energy. You need to be energised to be able to use your knowledge and your wisdom and allow this beautiful full moon. And I'm reading this on the 14th of the full moon. Um, the full moon comes in to illuminate a truth and untruth, a pathway forward, an illusion, um, a distortion even. And it could be your own thoughts that are distorted, but you need your knowledge and your wisdom. And that's why you need the extra strength to draw that down from the universe that you are making good, solid decisions. You are thinking it through and then you are following through with a decision to be made. So that's you facing your fears because I'm kind of getting that maybe you haven't made this decision yet. You haven't, perhaps it's presented itself, but you haven't made that leap of faith yet. And they're saying, but you need to, you need to draw down this energy in order to use what it is that you've got in your heart and your head to understand that this decision needs to be made. It does. It's being illuminated for you. King of Chalices. Now, the King of Chalices is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be those signs. The people that are involved with this, male or female, this could be one or two things. It could be somebody around you that has got a water sign within their chart that is tugging on your heartstrings. It's about emotion and that. And right now, I get the feeling that you are in the place where... You wouldn't mind sitting at a table and eating with this person. You wouldn't mind raising a glass to them. But you're really unsure whether you can trust them enough to tell them how you feel. And this is you taking your power back. Because right now, if this is your energy, for a, 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 for a fire sign, you are being really bloody watery. Uh, Wishy-washy even. So what I'm going to say to you is... If this is how you're feeling, look at this situation again and then approach it as a fire sign with the passion and the desire that the fire signs have instead of being frightened of your own shadow, which Aries, it, that's just not you. It's just not you. You've usually brimming with confidence. And for you to be feeling like this is like, oh, no, don't go there. People can see right through this. They can see right through it. They can see that this is not you. This is how you want to present, but it is not you. Yes, you love deeply, but you love with a fire, a passion, desirable, all of that sort of stuff. If this is somebody that is around you, and keep in mind this is you facing your fears and taking your power back. And I guess what they're trying to say to you is take your power back, take your fire sign back and, and don't be so wishy-washy. But just in case this is somebody that you're dealing with, 
this person is also feeling the same. They are mirroring you at the moment. They are mirroring whatever it is that you're feeling. They're mirroring that because they feel the same about you. They don't know that you can be trusted. They'll sit and eat with you. They'll raise a glass to you. They're, they'll be smiling and they'll say all the right things in the right places. But there is going to be this distrust around for some reason. But you do need to draw that energy down. That's you facing your fears. It's drawing the energy down so you can make this decision. But taking your power back is stepping back into your true essence and your true self. And stop being wishy-washy about what it is that you want. I'm kind of getting you know what you want, Aries. It's ridiculous to think that a fire sign doesn't. Um, it may be that, that you've got placements of water within your chart predominantly. I'm not talking about in one of the houses or the other. I'm talking either your rising sign or your moon sign, even your north node. Um, so go and have a look at that up if you don't know what that is. There's free sites out there that kind of figures all of that out for you on the internet. Um, so yeah, this is going to be an either or. Either this person is going to show you the way and put some trust your way, which is going to build your confidence, or it's going to be the other way around. Either way, there is a leap of faith required around this for you to go back to who you truly are that's basically what they're asking you to do manifestation wish fulfillment might maybe fuck listen to me usually i would say to you all oh, there's loads of messages coming in da, 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 night of fame is you may lose that da, all that sort of stuff no not in this case i put this card down who is it who is it that you want to send loads of messages to? You want to connect with? You want you want to keep saying? I'm just seeing all of these messages, whether it's text messages or phone calls or whatever. I just see that you want to keep banging these messages out, um, and it could be that you've got a question for somebody. It could be that in order to cut through the difficulties of all of this. You need some answers and you're so, I want to know, I want to know what happened. I want to know what was going on. What was the thought process? And it's almost like you're manifesting. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. But you're actually not texting and you're not ringing and you're not talking. It's all being done kind of like in the universe space rather than in the physical space. Because it's a manifestation. And the reason it's fucked is because you're not actioning it. You're not doing this. If you want the answers that you are questioning. And keep in mind that the person that you're dealing with. And do you know what? I keep saying I don't do love readings. But when this came up I thought oh here we go again. Another love reading. Whoever it is that you're dealing with. And I have to say. Um, there's everything on the deck there's earth air fire and water on the deck i can't tell you what sign it is i can't but the very fact that this is an athame you could be dealing with an air sign and let me tell you ha what happens with an air sign you want this deep you've got a desire around this you want the answers because that is what's going to help you decide whether you take a leap of faith towards this or whether you stay in this energy of being wishy-washy around it and doing nothing about it. Air signs, they think a lot. They have got a hundred questions that they need answering. And then there's a hundred more because those hundred answers then produced another hundred questions. Do you see where I'm going with this? That's how their brains work. It's not that they're procrastinating they, they don't know what they want because they haven't got all the facts and that's what makes them tick. But if you piss off an air sign, the last thing that you will hear from them is nothing. Silence. They will just turn around on a hoof and they will walk away. They do not like, he said, she said they don't like um, injustices. None of them do particularly Libras, but none of them like injustices. So just know, 
that if you don't action this and it is an air sign that you're dealing with if you don't action this you are sorry to say it this way but you won't see their ass for dust you won't you won't it's as simple as that it is as simple as that now your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be i think the universe will booty into touch because you have got the battle wagon which i believe that most other readers will consider this to be cancer another water sign and the reason they're bringing this in is because you feel quite triumphant about something you come back feeling like you've won the battle with the battle wagon and the universe has gone oh hell no 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 your hands are not on those reins you are not in charge of those horses those horses are picking up momentum they are taking you where they think you should be and not where you think you should be and the universe is saying to you take a seat take a seat you're not in control of this this journey is being divinely guided this journey you need to sit back and just enjoy it um there is no trying to resist this because i'm getting that the universe is just i think they've had enough and they're just saying ah no get in that battle wagon yes you can be triumphant but on our terms there is something that you need to come back from not just triumphant but having won battles coming back to something that is much calmer much soother there's a whole thing out there that the universe is trying to get you to see that is available to you and they want you to go there and you're just resisting it the whole time like you're resisting doing this texting this messaging that you so desperately want the answers to but they're saying we're taking it out of your hands. It's out of your hands. This journey's going to happen whether you're ready or not. Oh, what's that song? Ready or not? Here I come. I'm going to find you. Oh my God. Ready or not? Here I come. I'm going to find you. I have no idea who sung that. No idea. They just popped that into my head. Was it? Ready or not, here I come. I'm going to find Jay. I'm going to make you happy. I think that's the words. Don't scream at me if it's not. That's what they're telling, telling me. Water signs are about emotions. Fire signs are about the passion and the desire. And I'm getting that you've got the passion and desire you are petrified absolutely petrified of the emotions that may be attached to this connection oh my god it is a love reading for my aries wow i tell you what this is amazing so darlings what you can do about a situation a bit of a story going on here um i think you think that you've missed the boat with this and you haven't noticed or if you if you've kind of realized that this person is still around you're still smarting about something you're really cutting your nose off to spite your face it's almost like oh well i'm fed up with that and i'm not looking at them because you know i i don't want to but inside you're going for fuck's sake mate, you just turn around don't be a bloody idiot just turn around it's not that you don't want this connection. I think that there is a, a deep fear that this person may have the power to hurt you when in actual fact what you should be seeing with the Ace of Wands. This is a brand new beginning around passion, desire, projects, plans, people, all of that sort of stuff. But it's the passion and desire. That sky is clearing. The sun is about to shine. And the energy is going to be drawn down to these beautiful cherries. And those cherries are going to be oh so sweet to bite into. They're yours. They're your options. They're your choices. And then in... <laughs> what was I saying about the air signs? In comes the standing stone. This is the number 11. This would indicate in other decks um, judgment. Or is it justice? Is 
it justice? I can't remember now because I don't use the other decks anyway. But it does indicate that there could possibly be a Libra around you. And what's happening with this connection is natural justice. The universe is going to bring it in. The, the scales are in balance. There's the harm none message. And they mean that harm none. The labyrinth is clear. There is not a blockage in your way apart from the limitation you put on yourself. There is a highlight of this beautiful sun coming in. There's protection from the stones all around it. And these robust little daisies, will, will honestly, they will last the test of time. They will. As we lop their heads off, don't we, with lawnmowers, and two days later, the buggers are back again. So, missing somebody, wanting a new beginning, the new beginning's there, the universe is giving it to you. Natural justice, natural, natural justice, what, what was that? They just said something and then took it away again. Not just natural justice, just, oh yeah, okay. Divine inspiration. But they want it to come in and be natural. And here is your inner conflict. Here is your inner conflict. There is something you want to say to this person. There is something you want to clear up. It's like you've both got the ending to a story. And it's a really nice story. But you don't know how the fuck to start it. You haven't got a clue. You just don't know. And what that's doing, having a conflict with somebody else that's not in front of you, makes it an inner conflict. And that is your limitation. That is your self-restriction. Because you're just not willing to step over the parapet and just go, OK, I'm going to ask them the questions. You're just not doing it. And in comes the actual moon. On the full moon. Asking you. To allow it to show you a truth or an untruth, a pathway forward, a distortion, an illusion, whatever you think it is that's going on. They're saying, let me illuminate that for you. Let me show you. Because the things that are illuminated for you need your attention. The things that stay in shadow, they're not quite where they should be at the moment. They're in shadow for a reason. But they're saying there is a pathway forward for you. It's being illuminated. It's been I'm getting that it this this has been presented to you. It's been the pathway has been illuminated for you. But because of your inner struggle, your inner conflict, and this conflict that you've made up with this person in your head, that is what is stopping you from moving forward. It's stopping you from reaching out. It's stopping you dead in your fucking tracks. So, what is out of your hands? Like it or not, like it or not, you are moving into calmer waters. And there is a clarity in front of you about your future. Oh, wow. And in comes the High Priestess again with another full moon. She is highly intelligent, highly intuitive. She knows her shit. She knows her magic. She is coming in to say to you, use your intuition. You do, do what your gut feeling is telling you, that voice of your soul. You know, when she's adding magic to that pot, she hasn't got a recipe book. She doesn't need it. She uses her intuition and she adds it and adds it and adds it until she comes up with this beautiful potion. But the moon again is illuminating her potion for you massively. Oh, for fuck's sake. Aries, really? Karma Walters, okay? Highly intelligent, high priestess, knows her shit. This is what you can't do anything about. This is what the universe has got for you. Eight of chalices. You really have got this like, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to stand here like a plum and do nothing. All your chalices are in the upright. 
all the love in the world is there for you. The sun is shining. And you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which way to go. I don't know what to do about this. The fuck? Really, Aries? Do you know what? If I didn't know better, this should be a reading for a water sign. It shouldn't be a reading for you. It's so wishy-washy. But it, you've got these two strong cards and then this comes in. And the universe is saying this is out of your hands. This is out of your hands. This is going to happen. You are going to move into karma waters. You are going to see the clarity of the truth that the person you're dealing with brings a lot of magic to your life. They're highly intelligent, highly intuitive. Yes, that can be highly fucking intimidating. Male or female. They don't need a recipe book. They just know what to do intuitively. You, on the other hand, the universe is saying, come on, it's make your mind up time. Um, either do something about this or release it. Do something about it or release it. It is, it is as plain as that. Do something or release. So reconnecting to your true self, my darlings. Really, in comes the Knight of Wands. Darlings, this card comes to remind us, yes, it is great to have goals and destinations in life. And you're heading straight towards your sun. The best thing that you can get in the tarot is the sun card. And in this thing, it's depicted. But she's still travelling towards it, male or female. And what they're coming in to say to you is to reconnect to your true self. Begin to enjoy the journey again. Enjoy the pit stops. Enjoy what it is that you are seeing on the journey rather than keep looking at the destination. Your outcome, darlings. Collaboration. The Three of Pentacles. Surprising information coming from different sources. Um, but also the collaboration is the marrying of the learning condition that we go through as human beings. This is the tutor becoming the pupil, the pupil becoming the tutor. Uh, there could be somebody that is a lot younger than you that seems to have more common sense than you do. Um, and they could be talking to you about this and trying to encourage you to kind of figure this out. Um, also, the Three of Pentacles. I know other people say that it could indicate a marriage because usually what you would see in the Three of Pentacles is a priest and two people taking their vows. But in this, it's about coming together to learn something together. And I'm kind of getting that if you decide to go for this, your coming together will be a collaboration because you will be learning and teaching from each other and to each other. Very nice card. So, my darlings, the bottom of the deck, what's hidden from you, the universe is going to be asking you to go back to basics. Go back to basics. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life. It doesn't matter what you've achieved and what you haven't achieved. You came into this life with nothing. You're going to leave this life with nothing. You may leave stuff behind for other people, but you can't take it with you. And what they're trying to say to you is go back to basics recognize the magic for what it is i'm kind of getting that even if you didn't believe in magic or anything like that you could be agnostic you could be atheist whatever but because of this experience it's opened your eyes to the possibility and the probability that there is more out there than you have given thought to for a long time because i'm getting that there was a time where you felt quite magical, um, maybe manifested without even knowing what the terminology was, uh, but definitely could conjure up a bit of magic around what it is that you wanted. You need to learn how to protect yourself. And that isn't rejecting people, that is protecting you. Um, and getting back to basics by working with all the elements around you, because we're all interlinked. All interlinked. So let's get the whispers of healing out and ask them for a card for Aries, please. That's a great big pole and it just fell on the damn floor somewhere. Oh, 
goodness they fell together there's a shot okay my darlings what have we got here let's put my bins on for this it's getting dark and I can't say what they are oh, look at this number 41 get clear wow so number five Get clear, get rid of that inner conflict. Five's a, five's a conflict, whether we like it or not, they are. There may be something that you've read that isn't actually in truth. And there's somebody sleeping at the back here. I don't know, perhaps, perhaps you just didn't see what was being presented to you at the time. And they're so now clear that information get rid of it um and start over you see it's it's not doing you any favors if if you've been in contact with this person previously which i'm kind of guessing you have getting clear darlings i know it's a really modern twist on an old-fashioned picture but if you've got old texts from this person you keep reading them because you want to keep reinforcing um that it wasn't your fault that things went wrong there isn't any fault here. There was miscommunication. That's why you've got questions. If there wasn't any doubt in your head that it wasn't something to do with you, that it was all them, you wouldn't have kept the messages. You wouldn't have kept them close to you. Clear the messages and start again. Send the messages out. That's your actioning is send the messages out. Number 37, kindness. Darling, remember to be kind. It's a 10, it's a completion kindness what goes around comes around and i'm kind of getting that this person may have showed or extended to you some sort of kindness that now needs to be offered back <gasps> aries number 43 respect darlings you know, if you don't respect yourself, you can't possibly respect somebody else. But I am getting that maybe that somewhere in this connection, let's put that there, there may have been a lack of respect. And I don't know which side that's coming from. So it could might have been both of you misinterpreted something and took it as being disrespectful. Number 49, acceptance. Look at you riding those waves. You're riding high. The moon is full. A moon again on the full moon. I can't get, I can't get away from this. That, how many moons have you got? One, two, three, four. Four moons on the full moon. Don, you have to accept who you are. You can't change who you are. And by the same token, if you really want to be with somebody, if you've got someone in mind, if somebody keeps flitting across your mind, even though you might think you're done with them and they're still with you, you may just have to accept them for who they are. You don't have to have them in your energy. You, you know, you can keep them at a distance if you really want to. But acceptance as well for me, especially in this card, is I think that there's got to come a time when you accept that maybe this is the one, this is the person. Now the 49 added together is a number four, which again just reiterates this. It's a celebration. It's the coming together. Um of like-minded souls you may have even known this person in another realm in another lifetime and that's where this has come from and i get that you visiting that realm as rudimentary as it is it's kind of opened your eyes to the possibility that this person is your soulmate this person is the one that you should be with so my darlings Let's go for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance from the angels and ancestors.
for Aries for the end of June, please. Thank you. Anything else? Oh, great big pile just popped out at the end. So where are we starting? That one, that one, that one, and those. Okay, my lovelies. Mountains, stand your ground. Although it says stand your ground, I did hear stand your ground, but don't be stubborn. Well, I just had dice. That's not nice, is it? Um, Star ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. That's what I've been saying. Go within. Sage, be devoted and committed. Stargazer, set your sights higher. Medicine mother, honour your inner knowing. You know this is right. You know what you want to do. For, but for some unknown reason, you're being a shit. Heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Be open. To the, open yourself up. You know, when you are trying to figure somebody out, you can't come together with somebody unless there's an element of vulnerability around the connection. And that's for both of you. It's not just one of you. If you don't open up to the vulnerability of the expectation of where this is going, if you are thinking at the beginning this person has got the ability to break my heart they've also got the ability to make you very happy but us as humans we always think on the negative side rather than the positive side winter take care of your needs aries my darlings that is your reading for the end of june i hope it was helpful uh wherever you are in the world please be safe and i will catch you in the next reading bye for now